In the early months of the pandemic, a mysterious, potentially fatal illness was reported among children. It's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. As of October 1st, more than 1,000 cases were reported in the U.S. with 20 deaths. At least one case of the illness was diagnosed here in Orange County back in late July. It's not confirmed because it wasn't uh, detected by lab but it was uh, clinically, and it is a 15-year-old female. To date, nearly 70 pediatric cases have been reported statewide. In recent months, several case reports have been published that describe a similar condition in adults. In a report published last week, the CDC said the danger is those who suffer from it may not show any other symptoms that would point to COVID-19. The agency described the cases of 27 adults between the ages of 21 and 50. Most had extreme inflammation throughout their bodies and malfunction of organs such as the heart, liver and kidneys, but not the lungs. The CDC says three of the adult patients died and one of them was a 46-year-old man from Florida. Symptoms include fever lasting 24 hours or more, chest pain and irregular heartbeats, evidence of heart dysfunction, gastrointestinal symptoms and rashes. The CDC is warning doctors to consider multi-system inflammatory syndrome in adults who are experiencing these symptoms. Amanda Dukes reporting, WESH 2 News. The CDC report on the syndrome revealed of the 16 adult patients who contracted the illness, nine of them had no underlying medical conditions.